De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. The second diviner from Brazil took over stage and started his own exposition. Now, if you have been following the train, in case you don't know where we are or where this is coming from, uh, you may want to go back and look at the videos that was posted yesterday. And you will see that with all the events unfolding in the palace, it is alleged that Uni of Ife sent his private jet to bring some diviners from Brazil to come and look into the future to tell him what exactly they think about the entire situation. And now the fourth diviner has spoken and spoken and spoken, and the second one has taken over stage. And he started his own round of exposition. And he started by saying that all the Oloris in the palace are going to leave, whether they like it or not, that the only woman that will stay with the Oni of Ife is going to be Queen Naomi. Now, you do know that one of the major fear of the Oni of Ife is people calling him a king that cannot keep a wife. Apparently, he made it very clear that um, this is the reason why he's been finding it very difficult to send his oloris away, because he already has something that looks like a, st a stigma with people describing him as king who cannot keep a wife. That now the first one left, the second one left. How will it be if these women leave? Everything turns back to him. And I do guess that is the reason why he's been crawling when it comes to making, you know, um, decision to send these women away. And so that has been a major problem for him. But then again, people are saying it's not a win-win for you. If you keep them, they are not ready to cooperate with you. If you keep them, they are likely to be the one who put you out of your crown. And if you keep them, you're going to stay unhappy for the rest of your life. But if you do not keep them, people are likely to talk. And right now that you are keeping them, are people not talking? If you want to go by the things people are saying, of course, you will not be able to deal with the situation because people have this nature of talking and nothing is going to stop them from talking. No matter what you do, they will always, always talk. And so now this um, a second designer who and uh, diviner who took over the stage said that the wives are going to leave. Whether or not if it likes it or not that they will leave, that the only woman who will stay is Queen Naomi because Queen Naomi is written in the destiny of the only of Ife, that Queen Naomi happens to be the woman that the gods have put in to stay with Oni of Ife, that even if this um, Oloris um, um, leave the palace and Oni is convinced to take new Oloris and they come in their numbers, they will live the same way these ones will live. That the reason why Oni's first wife left and Oni has not kept a woman, a wife, is because there is an appointed time for Oni and a woman for Oni. And Oni went very close to have, making it happen for himself by marrying the girl that was meant for him, but let that girl go. And if he does not bring that girl out, whether he brings the girl in or not, that these women will still live and he will still be called a king that cannot keep a wife. The only thing that will stop him from bearing that name is um, going to be when he decides to make a decision and decides to bring Olori now me back into the palace that the palace of the Oni of Ife is going to be in peace Oni is going to reign in peace and there will be longevity if Queen Naomi returns back into the palace they said the diviner went ahead to say does he know Queen Naomi that he doesn't know Queen Naomi from anywhere has he has he ever met with Queen Naomi? No, he does not. He has never met with Queen Naomi. Is Queen Naomi related to him? No. So why will he want to favor Queen Naomi? That he is saying exactly what the gods are saying. And it's a good thing that these people came from Brazil because Oni tend to really, really believe in them because of his, you know, antecedents with this group of people. And they are they've been saying a whole lot in the palace that are so many things. They say the palace has been so quiet, quiet such that, you know, a pin falls and uh, nobody would hear. Now, they said a whole lot of things that Oni is not making enough effort. Oni is scared of what people will say, that Oni is supposed to be dishing out um, um, rules, regulations. Oni is supposed to be dishing out orders, not accepting orders from other people. That the reason why things are becoming, turning the table is turning around is because Oni is busy considering the thoughts, ideas, and proposition of mortal rather than that of the gods. The gods made a design. He is working with others to, you know, alter the design of 
God in his life, whether it is out of fear, whatever it is, Queen Naomi needs to return back into the palace. She is the last woman standing. She is the woman who will be with the only of affair that the God puts her there, that it is written in their, um, um, in their destiny that they are going to uh, uh, rule together. They will be in that palace together. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. It's still on the Royals. How are you guys doing? Um, the, the week has just begun. I really hope that your week is going well. I appreciate you for being a part of this channel. Anytime, any day, Dela writes, I love you guys so much. May God bless each and every one of you. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. I appreciate you so much. Dela right my Dela right i love you guys thank you so much and i want to use this opportunity to say a special thank you to those of you who are joining the live if you are not yet part of the live it's a lot of fun being there we we chat a lot and we you know it, it's important for us to um, talk okay not always you know um, i'm talking with some uh, body and you cannot add your own opinion so try to take part in the live especially those live that comes during um, um, the evenings where um, I, I believe that a lot of people um, would have come back home and rested. Anyways, so this is what has been going on in the palace of the Oni of Ife. There's been prophecies upon prophecies. It does seem as if the prophecy became too much and Oni decided to bring forth the people that he trusts in terms of, you know, looking into the future to see what the future holds for them. The future seems to really be bright in the um, 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 part of the Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi, but Oni need to expedite action to ensure that certain decisions are made and, you know, um, enforcement is also put in place because today you say one wife left tomorrow they are back in the palace every time we turn around this one got angry and left the next time when he said they should leave the next time when he said they should lock their door the next time they put a key the next time he's sleeping in Ojaja more what are they coming back for but again we are taking cognizance of the fact that they said this is not an easy decision for the Oni of Ife to make. Oni might be an Oni and he is human and he is king. Um, um, uh, he, he didn't make himself king. They said that um, uh, the, for the kingmakers, they are an integral part of his uh, kingship and they make certain decisions for him. They were the ones who stood that he must marry these women. He must not go back to Queen Naomi. And right now to just put the women out there happens to be something that is not going to be that easy but then again it is good that the women are uh, god is using them to work against themselves and the king makers are beginning to see reason with the only of affair and that is why we can be sure to say queen naomi is winning thank you so much dela right i appreciate you guys i'm going to bring you more update thank you